Morning everybody, this is Mandy from Mandy Wood Stained Glass and I'm going to show you my latest passion. Actually I've had this passion for a while but it's still gripping me like a fever. These are melted glass bottles which I sell in the gallery here. I sell them at a wholesale price. Um, don't get anywhere near the retail in the big flash galleries. And it's all good. I enjoy making these. So they don't pay an awful lot but gee they're a lot of fun. And there's such a lot of variety in bottles and shapes. And wait till I show you some of the moulds that I've got for these. See, we can do all crazy sorts of things. All crazy sorts of things with glass. So how do the bottles start off? Well, they start off as dirty old bottles picked up by the side of the road. Or dropped off by friends. I get them on my front doorstep when I come home. Kindly souls. Just loving the gin bottles, people, and the pale blue bottles. Everyone has a favourite colour. Look at that nice dark blue. There's my collection of gin bottles people have dropped off. And then things get cut down and cut up for different shapes and different formats that I make into different things. And I have got cartons of them here. So here's what I use all these amazing glass bottle bottoms for. I spend hours cutting them off. It's not quite as easy as they make out on YouTube, be warned. And I've got a fair bit of equipment for cutting and grinding them. And then I put them in some of those moulds I got from America on another occasion, just for bottom bottles. Then they go into windows that I make for stained glass, and they just hang themselves in windows. So how do I make these, you want to know? So here is my, my new kiln, new to me anyway, came from a very um, studious previous owner, thank you for delivering it and keeping it in such amazing condition, but this is a kiln I've wanted for 15 odd years, it's a scut kiln, it has a computer on the side which I've used before and it will fire glass exactly how I want. I haven't actually bought the giant kiln so I can melt bottles, I've done it so I can paint glass amazingly. I love painted glass for stained glass windows, so it's something I want to help revive in New Zealand. But you can see this is my very first firing in here, and I thought maybe I'd get 10 bottles, but I actually managed to get, I think, 15 in all together, and fired absolutely perfectly. Mind you, it took forever, it was so slow. And you can see by the size of the plug on there, it sucks up plenty of juice. That is not three phase, that is a single phase. Anyway, a nickname for this kiln is called The Coffin and you can see it's a special glass kiln because the element is in the top of the lid which weighs 60 kilos which I can only just lift but good, I'm still strong enough to do it. Now this is my brand new batch of bottle moulds that I've gotten from the States at great expense I might add and they've all been prepped with Byron nitride very very expensive very dangerous you've got to wear a mask cover your face only use it outside and then what do i see when i go investigating they actually put it into makeup oh yay just like they used to put lead into makeup and a few other nasties. I guess we'll find out in 20 years <laughs> what will happen with that makeup. Anyway, here's some more of these big moulds that I got in from the States. And a blue gin bottle is actually going to be melted onto this one with the dragonflies and the swirls. Really beautifully made. And that's going to a nice lady in Wellington who is sending me up a smaller kiln I have bought. And it too has a computer on it just for doing one or two painted bits of glass at a time. Now this is what I do, I wash bucket loads of bottles at a time and they have to be absolutely spotless. You cannot have any marks whatsoever or dirt on your bottles. No fingerprints, nothing, or they will come out with faults in them and they look ugly. So all is good and I'll post the new results soon. One bit more for Girls Brigade. These are some of the moulds they're going to be using that I got them from the States to make jewellery and things. And we'll see how they go. So maybe even 10 year olds can do it. Looking forward to that. See you soon girls.